Hi, my name is Dave. Today I'd like to show you how I made this replica of Newton's first telescope mirror. Eh, Pseudo-replica, semi-replica. It's at least approximately the same size and approximately the same focal length. Um, anyway, we'll, I'm going to show you how I made this. It was very, very simple, very straightforward. Any person with a few common tools and a little bit of skill can make something like this very easily. I'll show you how. Let me give you a closer look at this mirror, if you want to call it that. <laughs> because it barely functional as a mirror. It's a somewhat spherical surface, shall we say. <laughs> this is the mirror that I made, if I want to call it that. And this is the tool that, used, that I used to make the mirror. You make a spherical mirror by essentially rubbing these two things together, keeping as smooth a contact as you can and so forth with using finer and fi finer and finer abrasives. Um, and I'll show you how I do that and I did that in the following little snippet. You may wonder why this has got black paint all over it. First of all, the center was uh, terrible, not at all spherical, something wrong with that. And it has a terrible turned edge. This is common. On, uh, on Newtonian telescopes to have a turned edge. It's got a pretty bad turned edge, so I just blacked out those portions of the mirror that are, uh, if you want to call this a mirror, that are not as good uh, at being spherical as the center part. The center part is um, this little center dot there. That's blocked by the secondary mostly anyway, so it's really not a big deal. This is the first mirror I made. Um, now this you need something on the back of it so that you can hold it and grip it while you're turning it uh, in the lathe and in the, you know, as you're polishing and uh, grinding. Anyway, so I just, uh, I made a simple radius gauge like so, radius of 12 inches. I'm shooting for a focal length of about 6. So I just made something like that and I carved it as best I, as best I possibly could on the, on the lathe. And then, uh, well, I put it on a, my, my my sanding lathe and took it outside and sanded it as well as I could, polished it up and boy, shiny and <laughs> terrible, just a terrible, <laughs> it's nowhere near a sphere, it's uh, you know, it, it's just the, the figure is like all over the map, so this did not work well, um, that was my first experiment. Second shot for the second shot, and this is the finished product, of course, so for the second shot, I took a couple of hunks of aluminum. This aluminum is uh, about an inch and a half in diameter. A couple of hunks, put some stems on them. I made them um, kind of deep so that I could thread them without having any effect. I'm not sure. I may still have had some sort of a residual effect there in the middle of this one. I'm, it's not sh not clear to me. Anyway, um, so I threaded that up and I got a couple of handles on there so I can grip those in the lathe or whatever. There's my tool. Now the tool, is an, there's an attempt to turn a radius at, of 12 inches there. Um, and it looks like I got pretty close on this but not quite perfect. It comes out to be about maybe 10 inches or so. Uh, very hard to do with such a thing. And of course, I'm not going to make a little tiny microscopic spherometer. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do any of that kind of stuff <laughs> to make this into a, a nice, uh, <laughs> perfect shape. So, um, so anyway, I, I ground, uh, I, I cut those as best I could with the lathe on the lathe, and then I put them on my uh, drill press and started grinding um, and this is what that looks like okay here I have some abrasive on the tool uh, underneath and then the mirror is if you want to call it that is spinning and um, uh, there's some water in there of course and I'm rubbing the tool on the mirror trying to get them Come to being a closer shape, what we have, what we call good contact. So as the process happens here, and I'm of course going to speed this up here in a minute, but as the process goes on, the mirror and tool start to have better and better contact. This is highly abbreviated. 
pretty soon they come to have um, almost the same shape, which is going to be spherical. And they're going to have um, the same radius, one convex and one concave. Here I'm testing for good contact. If you rub them together and you have good contact, they'll almost stick together like they're magnetic. Getting pretty good contact. This is the same tool I use for grinding. polish on there. Get up to about a thousand RPM. I have no idea how much I'm changing the figure. But good thing I don't care too much about the figure. So if there's any kind of an image at all, I'll be very happy. Even a terrible image would be fine. It's just a model. Get some issues out at the edges. It's not too, you know, too reflective. Here I'm trying to look at a reflected image of the sun on my hand. You can't see it, of course. Looks like it's coming to focus pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. I mean, it's doing something. Okay, so now we're bringing out the big guns. And the way I tested it is to put it inside a Newtonian OTA. And this is just a very simple, it's a part of a toy telescope. I assembled a little secondary there. You can even see that the secondary is not centered. Geez, what a pathetic telescope maker I am. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's just for testing. So let's, uh, let's try it out in a cheapy, cheesy little eyepiece. Anyhow, it's got the basic principles of a Newtonian. You put this thing in here, and very much like Isaac Newton's first telescope, you slide this back and forth for focus. You can also tweak it a little bit and uh, move it around a little bit like that to get better images. Um, and I tested it, and here's what it looks like when you test this mirror. As you can see, uh, you can read a stop sign with this mirror the way it is. It's not great, but it's uh, at least somewhat acceptable. So this will do. This meets my specifications for the minimum quality of a mirror that I'm going to put in a replica of Newton's telescope. This will do just fine for me.
it's not going to ever be used anyway. It's just for show anyhow. And I'm basically just doing it to do it. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at how I made my replica of Newton's first telescope mirror. Thank you for watching.